I have owned my RC51 for about one month and I've ridden it about 300 miles which doesn't seem like a whole lot and I'll explain why it's not as much as it could be but I've been riding this bike pretty frequently getting every opportunity I can to go take it around for a little ride and that's because I absolutely love how this thing rides. Today's video I want to give you guys the first 300 mile one month impression of this motorcycle right here. For those who do not know what this bike is, this is a 2004 RC51. This one in particular is a real Nikki Hayden edition. Basically what they get to is a polished frame and some sponsor stickers. It's kind of a cool little tribute they did for him winning the championship in 2002, but realistically they're just about the same as the other motorcycles. I bought this particular bike because it was a real Nikki Hayden edition and because it had a couple miles on it, which allowed me to get a really good deal in my opinion. This is a 1000cc motorcycle that makes 140 horsepower from the factory. This bike has a power commander, aftermarket exhaust, but this is a L twin from Honda and is not a four cylinder. That's kind of Ducati's signature is the leader bike with the L twin. Honda always did the four cylinders, but this is a L twin from Honda. And if you can hear the bike kind of sounds like it's supercharged. That's because this bike has gear driven cams in it which gives a very nice whining noise the bike has plenty of power six speed and i mean it's one of the coolest bikes that i own definitely one of the most special bikes and the fastest bike that i have as well now i haven't gone crazy putting miles on this bike but i've taken it on the highway in the city the back roads and kind of just enjoyed it I want to do maintenance to this motorcycle because it was allegedly parked for a few years before I bought it and I kind of wanted to just shake it down for a few hundred miles to see what the bike might need, what the bike kind of does while riding it and just getting some introductory miles and feeling the motorcycle out. Now that those miles are kind of over and I've experienced it, I did push the bike a little bit to kind of just see what the bike is like and man, this thing is an absolute blast. A couple of the first impressions that I had the very first time I ever rode in RC51 and this bike in particular is the tank and how awkward they are when you're trying to do low speed maneuvers like U-turns and stuff like that. Obviously this motorcycle was not made to do daily riding, it was made for the track. Honda purposely designed and engineered the RC51 to beat Ducati in the leader bike class which makes sense as to why the bike is a little bit awkward on the road and in alleyways and doing normal things that on a racetrack you would never do but after you kind of get used to maneuvering the bike a little bit and you get it on some open road you realize how much power and how well balanced this bike is this bike wants to go fast and when it's going fast the bike is so comfortable you can go on the highway 70 80 90 100 miles per hour and more i imagine on this bike no problem and it feels like you're doing 50. now i think it's pretty obvious and pretty clear that i'm absolutely in love with this motorcycle and everything that it has I really don't have a bad thing to say other than it just being a little bulbous and big. It's a big bike, it's a leader bike, that's what it is and that's just the reality of owning and living with any leader bike. It is a big motorcycle, it takes up a lot of room. As far as the ride and everything, the bike is pretty comfortable overall. The seating position is very comfortable, I don't really have any complaints about it whatsoever. And while the riding position on this motorcycle is going to be what it is, and for what it is, it is very comfortable. Since we're in the city there is one thing I want to mention even though today is a little bit of a cooler day and the bike isn't totally warm yet, these motorcycles in the city get very hot. I saw a comment on one of my first videos I made with this bike saying that the engine fans don't really turn on until the bike is basically overheating. I think it is a very common modification to add an external switch to these bikes and maybe something I'm going to look into. The reason why it's not number one or super high on my priority is because whenever I'm riding this bike I really am on the back roads and in Wisconsin we don't get very many days where it's absolutely humid and horrible outside. And on those days, once again, I'm not going into the city like I am right now. I'm most likely on some open roads where the bike will stay cool. Today the bike wants to stay nice and cool at 175, but I think the highest I got this bike was 
to about 220 degrees when I took it in the city one afternoon a couple of days ago. And you can definitely feel the bike on your legs. You definitely feel the heat. And I actually pulled over to just let the bike cool down. The top speed on these bikes in real life is around 165 to 170 miles per hour. I'd probably be surprised to see 170 on the dash at any point for this bike. And if it ever did read 170, I would definitely think that it is reading a little bit high and you're probably going closer to 160. Some weird RC51 things that I've noticed other than the engine just being super hot is the mirrors. The mirrors fold in. This mirror I think has a little bit of a weak bolt and it might be stripped out which is one of the reasons it's been floppy. But apparently floppy mirrors are a very common thing and especially when you start to hit some speed the mirrors like to fold in. And the smell from the motorcycle, I talked about it in the first video as well I believe but these motorcycles when they get warm and when they're running they get this smell. This bike has an aftermarket exhaust that sounds absolutely insane but also those cams. The sound of it idling is just intoxicating. As you can see, we're starting to creep up in temperature a little bit at 183 now. We should have our tires nice and warm. The other reason I haven't really wanted to push the bike at all is because of tires. They are older. The guy who bought it, he parked it for about two years towards the end before he decided to sell it. This bike might be a leader bike, might be a little bit on the heavier side, super fast. But the bike definitely is not a hard machine to just get on and ride. Super easy, very well balanced, very well planted onto the road. Overall, I mean, I've, I've been singing the praises of this machine this entire time just because it is that good. Compared to any bike that I've rode really before, it's one of the fastest bikes that I've been on and rode. I mean, this thing like teleports, basically. I mean, yeah, she goes, as you guys can tell. I'm barely, 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 barely opening this thing up. Hard to comprehend how fast the bike is. <laughs> I can't imagine. I was saying this the other day. I cannot imagine in 2004, this being the bike you could go to the dealership and buy. Obviously nowadays like the H2 has warped our perspectives on what motorcycles can do. But just imagine this. I know the Hayabusa was out at the time. The Hayabusa came out one year before this bike and they had to tone bikes down at the time because of how fast they were getting. As we can see here with uh, a little bit of a little bit of speed on some of these back roads here. The bike has substantially cooled down. Anyways, I'm going to conclude this video here. That's been my experience with the Honda RC51. My first impressions, the first little couple hundred miles I've done with this machine. I absolutely adore it. It is one of the most rewarding bikes that I've ever been on. It's incredibly fast, incredibly smooth, and it's a bike that now that I've owned and experienced this one, I want to go out and experience some of the other bikes in this motorcycles class. With all that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel, comment down below your thoughts on the RC51 if you've ever had the opportunity to ride one. I'd love to hear your guys' experiences with this machine. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video.